Welcome back, guys, to the NCR channel, the home of NI Couple Reacts, and this time round, a stand-up comedy reaction, the one and only recommendation so far. I've done a couple of Bill Burr's, and it was a Bill Burr recommendation, and on the previous video, where am I, here, I'd said I'd, I'd show my vinyl collection. Where am I? This way. Hello. It's not even open, guys. I've had it for a couple of years. I've never even opened it. Bill Burr. As you can see, a little reflectiveness. Andrew. Live at Andrew's house. Recorded at Carnegie Hall on November 11th, 2011. New York City. So, yeah. <coughs> This is the one, I'm going to do a, another Bill Burr. We'll get to that. I'm just showing you some of my uh, vinyl. Mr. Joey Coco Diaz. This is open. This has been played. Joey Diaz is a fucking legend. I may do some Joey Diaz reactions. Get into them if you don't know. This podcast is fucking unreal. And then I've got a couple of old school. I've got quite a few. Steve Martin. Steve Martin. Steve Martin. I bought this as a part of like a a job lot of stuff. Rich and Pryor, Bicentennial Nigger. Classic. And then the rest I think is all George Carlin. Occupation Fool. Class Clown. All old school stuff. And then another Steve Martin. What a cover. But yeah, just wanted to show some of my Stand up vinyl collection. Something I'm slowly starting to build up. And yes, Bulber. So to anybody who watched the previous couple of Bulber videos I've done, Bulber's the best, currently the best stand up comedian on planet Earth, in my honest opinion. And I got one recommendation on one of those videos for the Philly rant. Now if you don't know what the Philly rant is, I haven't heard it in full. I've heard snippets on various podcasts and stuff. He's explained what happened. There was some sort of gig. I'm just paraphrasing it here slightly. There was a gig and the Philadelphia crowd booed basically everybody. Somebody bombed and then it just caused a snowball effect of just the crowd did not get any of it. Booed everybody. The comedian on before, Bill, I think was Dom Herrera, who is... One of the best as well. An old timer. One of the really, really good American comedians. The crowd just did not give a fuck that day, basically. And Bill came out and unleashed hell, from what I have heard. Um, as I say, I've only heard snippets, just when he was on sort of different podcasts talking about it. And it's become sort of an iconic it's 10 minutes of him just tearing into Philadelphia and the people and whatever. So, as I take a sip of my rum and coke, sit back, relax. I'm going to turn the volume down slightly on Bill because we were recording some music videos there. And you can't really hear me when the music's blasting. So, the Bill Burfley rant this video is the full remastered audio because it, I mean, it was recorded in somebody's either... Back then, it was probably not a mobile phone, but a dodgy cine cam, whatever. So it's been, the video's been remastered, the audio's been remastered over and over again. This is one I found that's been pretty decent. But sort of muted at the start, I think, just trying to, I think it was, I think it was Bill getting introduced. So here we go. <laughs> As I say, I haven't he heard all of this in full, so this sh should be good crack. Here we go, guys. Enjoy. But you don't stop talking, do you? Like, ah, fuck it. I'll just cook this side for a while. Just... Don't, you know what's funny? I'm cooking my brain talking about nothing. I know. I'm just walking around like, yeah, I just got a cheeseburger. Oh, fuck all you people. You know what? You fucking losers. Fuck. I hope you all fucking die. And I hope oh. the fucking Eagles never win the Super Bowl. Go fuck yourselves. Whoa. 
Whoa. Jesus. How's that? No, I'm segwaying into my next joke. You can all predict my fucking red nuts, all of you. You can line up in your Harold Carmichael fucking jerseys, and one at a time, you can all suck my dick. Bravo. Jesus. Jesus. You're all gonna get fucking cancer, which is fantastic, because all your fucking heads are shaved anyways. No one's even gonna notice. You're gonna get fired for coming to work too late, because they're not gonna notice that you have fucking bone marrow cancer. The only thing he's gonna give it away is me laughing at you in the fucking background. You fucking bunch of losers with your fucking cell phone pictures. Fucking suck a dick. Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Drive off the side of that faggot ass Ben Franklin Bridge, you fucking one bridge having piece of shit city. She you know says, the Holy fuck. The terrorists will never bomb you people because you're fucking worthless and no one cares about you. You are this high above New Orleans. No one gives a shit. FEMA will never show up to you fucking assholes. I hope your mother has herpes and the center. <laughs> and you go home tonight, you lick it, you get it on your tongue, and some other horrific shit happens and involves cancer. To so all of you, 11 minutes left. 11 minutes. I hope somebody takes a fucking beer stein and just slaps you on the back of your zit infested fucking shoulders and your awful man tit tank tops. I hope that happens to you. I hope the glass fucking digs into your fucking shoulder blade. And then I see you afterwards. Hey, how's it going? Enjoy the fucking show, that's great. And I grabbed you by the fucking hair, but you don't have any. <laughs> you really have to come to this, people. You really have to come to it. I really hope all of you run into all those black people that you love so much here in Camden. I really hope that happens. I hope there's a line of all of you guys getting fucking carjacked, and they take out their big black dicks, and they just shove them right in your fucking mouth. <laughs> and somehow they just keep repeatedly coming right in your fucking eyeballs <laughs> until it builds up so much that your eyes fucking crust over holy fuck shit. and somehow there's another dick in there for you to suck <laughs> <Ten minutes left. laughs> look at you this is what you want this is what you want this is what you want Holy fuck. All of you collectively suck a fucking dick. <laughs> Holy fuck. Nine hours into a fucking show. Look at you and your fucking Dunham and McNabb shirt. I hope he snaps both his fucking ankles in the first goddamn game. I hope you go home in fucking 16. I said suck a dick. <laughs> Less of those boys. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Fucking hell. That fucking pussy teams. Remember they had that whole season where they wore the slacks? You bunch of faggots. Fucking hell. What else? What else? I text your mothers. It's eight minutes. I'm doing it all. I'm fucking standing here. 
Jesus. Disappointment for your mother. Seven minutes left. Seven motherfucking minutes left. Fuck and I'm doing hell. all fucking seven. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's class. Look at this. What are you taking a picture of, Iraq, huh? This is the most. I'm saying all the shit I wanted to say for 14 minutes. This right here is the theme of my set a broken mic stand. Three motherfucking minutes left. Three fucking minutes left. What's left? The Phillies, that faggot ass team named after a female horse. You bunch of pussies. You want one fucking World Series since 1880? Suck a dick! Bring Tom McGraw back from the dead, you fucking jackasses! Maybe you'll win another one! It ain't oh, happening! Fucking it hell. ain't ever fucking happening! With your <laughs> red candy striped faggot fucking uniforms! Your team should be selling cotton candy in the fucking instructional leagues! Fucking hell. The other soccer team? That's all I got left, huh? You got a fucking ping pong team? Some other shit ass fucking team that's never gonna win a championship? <laughs> <laughs> Went to the Banana Republic, cut the twenty dollars shirt off the rack. Jesus Christ! Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Get booed by people sitting in the fucking grass, goddamn launch seats. It's fun, isn't it? Isn't this great. I'm actually, getting, I'm actually getting fucking paid right now, people. I'm getting paid to shit all over you guys. And your stupid fucking rock t-shirts of bands that no one gives a fuck about. Four minutes left. Yay! You with your rush fucking t-shirts. I beat the shit out of my girlfriend. <laughs> I felt great. I really felt great. I want to thank you guys for having me. You guys were phenomenal. Each and every oh no, I got four minutes left. I got four fucking minutes left to fucking talk about you cunts. That's not bad. That's not bad. 12 minute rant that the first time I said cunt. That's a fucking record. <laughs> I'm gonna finish my set by taking this mic stand base like a fucking disc. I hope I hit a baby in the fucking head. The one fucking kid who would actually go to chat college in this fucking crowd. Yay. What's that, sir? Dave Chappelle, yes, he's not here. I wish I was on his fucking tour right now. Maybe I'd have a bunch of cunts not fucking paying attention four hours into a goddamn show. Three fucking minutes left. <laughs> Three minutes left in this motherfucking tirade. Boring. What's that? Sir, why are you screaming? You're in the front row, you dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> This whole crowd, I just hope mass age full blown, like fucking you get weak as you walk to your fucking cars, you just pass out, <laughs> and they just find you. Holy and shit. Next to your 83 fucking Monte Carlo with gravel embedded into the side of your fucking bald ass fucking heads. Yes, 
What about Vincent Papalio? What about what? Vincent Papalio. What about not fucking interrupting me, you jackass? Play a fucking that record, you son of a idea. bitch. Sorry. I'm fucking trying to deal with this bullshit. I fucking wonder who that was. Christ, the goddamn people on the show are giving me shit. <laughs> So anyways, back to the jokes. I got a computer recently, people. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking motherfuckers. I put in two minutes left. The last two minutes is going to be my rider for the rest of this fucking tour. I go on first. I do three minutes. That's it. I come out here with a fucking gun, right? That's what I do. I come out with a fucking gun, hollow tip bullets, and I just start fucking shooting people, okay? And everybody's chained to their fucking chairs. I just blow all your fucking brains out, like just, just one after another. Just fucking one. Two to the back of the head. Never ending. Coming out like a fucking Mexican with those two fucking crosses of bullets. I just blow Jesus. all your fucking brains out. I would really enjoy blowing everybody's brains out. Just fucking, just, just the next day, somebody mopping up. The three pounds of fucking brains that are actually in this goddamn crowd. <laughs> One minute left in the period. Oh, the crowd are fucking loving it, too. This doesn't change anything, this set. I still fucking hate you people. <laughs> and I hate this fucking city. I hate the way you eat your little shitty ass fucking subway. And uh, why don't you fucking build something for Joe Frazier and get that fucking idiot. You guys all gonna go see Rocky 19? Yeah, dude, I think you can win! <laughs> Fucking hell. Jesus fucking Christ. Holy shit. <laughs> That's all I could say at that. My God, that was amazing. From what I've gathered before, the crowd just booed everything, just didn't take anything on. Booed the whole show. And there he just went and gave him, gave him as best he could. No better man to give him his best. Holy fuck. That was harsh, but really, really funny. Thank you to whoever rec recommended that. That was really, really good. <laughs> How did he top that? Fucking hell. Harsh, but he had to do it. They were all being assholes. So there you go. Any other stand-up uh, comedy recommendations, be it American, British, whatever, Hit us up in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, all that jazz, and we will see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.